website is jasonnewland.com Now, I'd like you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a peaceful environment or lying down. Make sure the seat, if you're sitting in the seat, is sturdy and able to support your body in the event of you falling asleep. If you're lying down, then I suggest that you wear loose clothing and also just in case you're listening to this purely to relax and you're not really, you know, ready to go to sleep right now. Maybe you're listening to this in the morning or the afternoon and you're just taking a 20 minute break or an hour out of the day. I do suggest set your alarm on your phone or whatever to wake you up just in case you fall asleep. It's not because I'm some kind of an amazing hypnotist or really good at what I do. I'm just a have a conversation with someone in the park about something, you know, quite interesting, well, to me, and I can see their eyes glaze over, and they start to blink, and I notice each time they blink, their eyelids stay closer for second longer each time and their body stays still if their right hand is like in the air or you know just doing something it just stops and stays where it is their feet don't move their facial expression stays the same relaxes or due to me being very boring so listening to me could cause you to or could cause your mind to drift off yourself really struggling to stay awake if that's what you're trying to do. And you end up drifting off to sleep. Now, saying this next part is for those of you that are listening to fall asleep. I think it's really important to remember that you can't force falling asleep. the people that I have spoken to you know, over the years that say they go to bed and they can't get to sleep. There is no getting to sleep. It's not a conscious process.
It's like digesting your food. You don't consciously digest your food. You do the fun part. Eating it and then booing it out. But the middle part you don't have anything to do with. That's an automatic process. Sleeping is a very similar thing. So you do the beginning and the end part. So all you need to do is to lay down. And just focus on feeling comfortable. Or sitting in a chair. I actually quite enjoy sitting back in my chair and listening to music or sometimes just listening to nothing. That's not really listening as if it's nothing, but it is always something, some kind of sound, even if it's just that motorbike that just went past my house the birds, or the central heating, the boiler, Vinny, my little Rockweiler that runs around, like a Jack Russell. It might be me farting. Yeah, sometimes, I mean, I'm sure you all wake yourselves up with a fart sound. Every now and then you wake up and you realise you're farted. No. No, me neither, me neither. So. You do this, the beginning bit by just lying down on your bed. And the middle bit is taken care of. And the last bit is getting back out of bed again at the end, you know, in the morning or whenever the sleeping time has been completed. The falling asleep part and being asleep is, that's just the digestive system analogy. It's autonomous, it and it's automatically happens. Autonomous, is that the right word? <sighs> I haven't got time for looking in my dictionary. So you don't actually situation is the more you try to fall asleep the less likely you are going to fall asleep because you can't force it the more you want to fall asleep It's natural to want to fall asleep if you're feeling tired or you're just needing, you know you need to get to sleep. But you need, if you can, get into that mindset. Doesn't matter. There's no pressure on yourself. It relieves and releases that tension that gets in the way of you just naturally drifting into 
slumber. Now, I don't normally use the word slumber, but I thought I'd give it a go. After 17 years of doing these recordings, I thought to try and use a different word other than sleep. I still prefer sleep, easy to remember. Something that I noticed quite a few years ago is the best part of going to bed for me. is lying down, closing my eyes, and not having to do anything. Not having to speak to anyone, not having to physically accomplish any kind of task, not having to use any parts of my body, not even needing to use my mind, my eyes are not needed, my ears are not needed, my voice is not needed. My hands, my feet, my limbs, none of that stuff is needed. My mind is not needed. It can just do its own thing. Which, let's face it, our minds do its own thing most of the time anyway, don't they? So we're no longer in conflict with ourselves. Because when you think about it, if you're about to do something, and you're going to do it anyway, you know, whatever it is, in, it could just be a task. Maybe walking down the street, you walk into the shops, or just something simple. start shouting, come on, walk quicker, I want to be at the shops now, hurry up, hurry up, I want to be at the shops now, and you are already on the way to the shops, but now, you just, you don't want to go, you don't want to go to the shops anymore, because you've got this irritant, stressing you out, so instead of just being a nice relaxing walk to the shops, to pick up your packet of biscuits or whatever it is you're going to the shops for, it's turned into a, an unpleasant experience, with pressure that's unnecessary turn something that's so natural and easy into something complicated and unpleasant. And you may be thinking, well, what's walking to the shops for a packet of biscuits got to do with anything? The packet of biscuits is not really that relevant. But that voice of, come on, hurry up, do it now, that's what we do to ourselves. That's what we do to that part of us that naturally will just fall asleep. In the same way as just walking slowly to the shop, peacefully, 
destination is going to be reached in whatever time it takes. There's no hurry. There's no pressure. It's peaceful. sitting in an exam, driving test, if you're at work, or if you're just lying down on your bed, remembering to be kind to yourself. start to notice how good it feels just to lay down and let go of the day let all the stuff that's happened
없이 observe how your mind is slowing down realizing Just lying there on your bed. Or sitting in a chair. Can feel. is something quite lovely about just being in the moment not thinking about the future or the past or 